be looking at more confessions. I'm super excited about this because I love these confession videos. I love looking at everyone's confessions. And again, these confessions are not my opinion. I know a lot of people are like saying, oh, it's actually her opinion. She picks ones that are her opinion. That's not true. I just pick whatever I think looks the most, I don't know, controversial. <laughs> and then I, I, I talk about those because I think those are the most interesting and see what your guys' opinions are and stuff like that because everyone has so different opinions. I think it's very interesting. So that's what I'm going to be trying today. By the way, I'm sorry about the late upload. I recently have moved into my new house, which is super exciting. I'm still unpacking and stuff like that. So let me know if you guys would like to see some pictures and whatnot. Maybe I can upload them on Instagram or Amino and stuff like that. So I'm excited about that. It's, it's a lot of fun. So um, let's see. Remember, this is not my opinion. So everyone don't hate me. All right. Um, the first confession here um, is... I hate when artists start commissions before they even spend time on approving their art. I don't mind when it's Amino coins, but when it's actual money, then it kind of irritates me. Notice, these are artworks have 90 degree angles for elbows, reuse the smudge tool, have nothing that shows proper anatomy, etc. These are also artists who hide the hands, eyes, feet, etc. without trying to draw them and prove on them. I don't really agree with this confession in the slightest. The reason being is if someone starts commissions and say they're a new artist and they start them for $25 when they just started art and they haven't really um, found their style or anything yet, then people most likely, if they don't find it worth it, won't buy it. See, if someone finds something worth it, they will buy it, but if they don't, they won't. So either way, it's going to even out. So if someone starts and they make it $25 as soon as they start, if they don't get any sales, they'll realize that and they'll realize they need to drop the price. So pretty much it kind of evens itself out whenever you're doing commissions. Even if they've just started and you started your own commissions, you will learn where you got to start. For instance, I started with $5, but slowly you can up your price over time when you realize you're getting too many commissions and stuff like that. And if people want to support you, like you guys support me so much. And that's pretty much how I do it anyway. And I think that's the best way to go about commissions. Next com confession here is I started drawing of how to draw anime books and did pretty well. I eventually did branch off and actually gained something of a style but I've seen people ridicule how to draw books, which makes me feel embarrassed that I did do that of a start, that, that to start art, sorry. <laughs> okay, um, how to draw anime books. I've never tried how to draw anime book, so I don't know much about them, but I don't see why that would be ridiculed or people would think that's embarrassing. I, I don't understand why that would be so. You guys have to let me know in the comments because that doesn't seem embarrassing at all. Everyone learns from something, so. Why not learn from a how to draw anime book? I, I don't know. The next confession here. Um, I used to trace art a lot and every time my mom or someone would ask me if I drew it, I'd tell them that I did, but it always made me feel guilty. So over time I told my mom like three years ago, it actually made me feel guilty. So I was basically crying and my mom told me to calm down and it's okay. So yeah, that's my embarrassing confession. I haven't traced since then. Hope you enjoyed my confession. Okay, tracing, that's interesting. When I was very young, uh, I used to draw, not seriously, but of course I drew as a little, little kid. Like I was a toddler drawing and I'm pretty sure every little kid has tried putting their paper over like a comic book or something and tracing the characters for fun. And the thing is, is that it doesn't really matter. Like if you're just doing it for like a kid and you're having fun, it's different if you're like claiming it as your own. I can understand where you would be embarrassed by that and be like, oh, I don't want to claim something that's not mine and stuff like that. So I completely understand that. Though I think a lot of kids like to um, trace things and stuff like that. So, and also a lot of people like to trace things even if they're not interested in art, just so they can um, like make a character up without having to get into drawing. So I've noticed that too. So I don't know. I mean, I think everyone has different opinions. I've always been a little slack on what I um, consider art theft and things like that. So some people may have more um, stern opinions on that. Okay, here's the next confession. So I don't like it when people ask me to draw them or draw everything for them. I'm known as the art kid in school and I always get asked to draw everything on an assignment that requires something to be drawn. I also don't like being asked to draw someone as in their self because then I feel so pressured to do it and worry about it if it will be horrible and due to this I lose motivation. This one I understand slightly. Like I understand if you didn't like if people are expecting you to draw them and they keep asking you to draw them and they expect you to, 
then I understand it. Then it feels like they're kind of being entitled. But it, like for me, for instance, you guys all know I love it when you guys send in your OCs and ask them to be drawn because I'm asking for that. And that's what I want to do. So that um, doesn't upset me. It actually makes me happy. But the one thing that does upset me is when people get a little entitled or someone gets upset that I didn't draw their OC fast enough, even though it's not guaranteed and stuff like that. That's the stuff that would make me upset. So I understand this. If like when people start feeling like they're entitled to your work without paying and stuff like that, then I can understand being upset. Let's see, the next confession. I am sorry, but I highly dislike anime and K-pop art. Oh my goodness, this is going to make people so angry. <laughs> I am fine with, with it if it comes up once or twice, but when it's featured and gets really annoying, I don't like looking at the same anime stuff every time. And anime stars are okay, but fan art especially BTS can annoy me. Okay, now I know why they're saying only BTS. They're not literally saying they dislike just K-pop art in general. They're only saying that because BTS is popular. And this happens very commonly. It's like, for instance, Frozen the movie came out and it got so popular, people got annoyed with it. They got annoyed with it because it was so popular that's all they ever heard about. So they just got annoyed with it and they hated the movie even if they didn't see it. So for instance, a lot of people hate BTS even though they don't know their music or they don't listen to them because of the fandom or they hear about it too much. So it's like the thing where you start hating something just because of what you hear about it rather than actually knowing what it is. And I, I've run into this a lot. I feel like the, I, it's even happened to me. Like for instance, if someone posts about something and I find it annoying, um, I will hate the thing or start to dislike the thing without actually trying it myself, which is so messed up and wrong. I shouldn't do that. I should actually try the show and not dislike the show just based on a fandom. So. Yeah, I don't agree with this. I, I, I think it's silly to not like anime just because it's a big genre or a big style and a lot of people use it, but they use different variations of it. And I love anime, obviously. So obviously I don't agree with this uh, and I love BTS and I love K-pop. So this is the opposite of me. <laughs> um, next one here. When I was little around third or fourth grade, I didn't know tracing was a bad thing. Oh no, this is another I'm um, tracing one and I wasn't online much. So if I could get my drawing right would, what if I couldn't, oh, couldn't get my drawing right, I would trace art and claim it as my own, being super proud and show people, but I, as I grew older, I saw that it was doing art theft and got extremely worried and threw all my trace art away and promised I'd never trace again. Now I'm older and do all my original art, but I've always been in the back of my mind. Oh. But yeah, that's another thing like tracing. I feel like, um, I, even when I first started, like especially on, like I started on Roblox when I was like maybe 12, I started drawing and that was when I started drawing more seriously and I started drawing pictures for people. Um, I would look at pictures and like very closely reference them. And sometimes I even did things that were like tracing, like when I drew like Princess Peach or something, it was almost like I just completely copied the original. It wasn't really tracing because it was just copying it, but it was very close copies. So it was almost like tracing. And so I understand that and I, I still feel bad about that. Like, oh, I shouldn't have done that or shouldn't have copied it so closely, stuff like that. So I understand. And the thing is everyone grows up past that and everyone learns to do their own thing. So I don't see why it's embarrassing. Um, next up, next confession. I constantly make the facial expression that I'm drawing and I draw a lot of pu in public and it is only the last few times I've noticed I was doing it. I always thought people just stared at me with a weird face um, a weird look for no reason, but now I know. Honestly, now that you said this, I am honestly scared that what if I do it too? What if I make these faces when I'm drawing and I just don't know about it because I've never thought about it and never tried actually paying attention to the faces I make while drawing. So I don't know, I never draw in public, so that's positive. <laughs> and that's everything. If you guys want to send in a confession, be sure to write me up on the Amino. I'll put a link down in the comments. And that is where you can send in your confessions. You just have to send me a little note on there and I will make sure your name is not visible so no one knows who you are when you send in your confession because a lot of people probably get angry about some of these confessions. So that's why I don't say anyone's names. <laughs> but this is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this. And this picture you see here is for actually something I'm selling up on my Amino, which is 30% off for a couple more days. So be sure to go check it out and thank you guys so much for watching.